Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes, and welcome to the 11th video in our series on classic guitar riffs. Today we look at Creedence Clearwater Revival's version of I Heard It Through the Grapevine, as recorded on their smash hit album Cosmos Factory. Cosmos Factory was released in 1970, and it went on to sell over 4 million copies. It remains probably my all-time favourite guitar-based album. There are a number of classic songs on the 11-track album, and we'll be looking at some guitar riffs from Cosmos Factory beyond this one today. But today we're focusing on just the intro riff that John Fogarty played on the Cosmos Factory version of I Heard It Through the Grapevine. I Heard It Through the Grapevine was originally written in 1966, and it was released prior to Credence's version by Gladys Knight and the Pips, and probably more famously by Marvin Gaye. However, the Credence version is the one that is burnt into my mind. On the album, the song goes for 11 minutes and 5 seconds, which was somewhat of a groundbreaking move back in 1970. And I'm always pleasantly surprised over here in Australia, where occasionally on adult contemporary FM radio, the DJ will let the full version of I Heard It Through the Grapevine from Cosmos Factory play. And I can sort of hear a collective cheer from the guitar fans around the country when that happens, because the extended version just has one of the most amazing guitar solos of all time. Today we're not looking at the solo, we're just focusing on the very simple three-note introductory riff that John Fogarty plays at the start of the tune. I Heard It Through the Grapevine is written in the key of D minor, and there's only one chord throughout the entire introduction section of the song where the guitar's playing, and that's the chord D minor. So the riff is based around a D minor chord. Now the riff is played completely on one string, the D string of the guitar, the fourth string of the guitar, and it only has three notes in it, D, E and F. And as you can see by my finger positions on the fretboard there, E is played with the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and F is the next fret up on the third fret of that same string. Let me play the riff for you first and then we'll just talk our way through it. So one, two, three three, four. And that's it. One of the most famous guitar riffs of all time. Just like Keith Richards' Satisfaction, which kicked off this video series, video number one, this riff only has three notes in it. That's one of the reasons why it stood the test of time. Cosmos Factory was released in 1970. Not that long ago, um, Concord Records, I believe, put out a 40th anniversary CD copy of that album. I strongly recommend you get it or download a copy if you haven't. It's just jam-packed with fantastic guitar riffs. Okay, so it's pretty obvious what we're doing. We're playing D two Ds, then F, then D. So, da, 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 and then D, 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 F, E. So it's D, D, F, D, 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 F, E. And then that is played four times in a row. An interesting feature of the original Credence version of I Heard It Through the Grapevine is the use of what is called the drop D tuning. So if you haven't got that album, just go to YouTube, type in, I heard it through the grapevine, Credence original recording, and there's a number of posts there where people have uploaded the original vinyl recording. It's interesting to note that most of those posts have about 8 million views. There are a lot of people all around the world rediscovering the magic of the simple guitar riffs that John Fogarty created with Credence. So it's well worth learning these riffs. If you listen to that original recording, you'll hear there's two lead guitars at the start. One in the octave that we just played. But the main guitar that you hear is an octave lower than that. 
Now, it's not the bass guitar. The bass is doing its own separate thing. So what you're hearing is what is known as the drop D tuning. And that simply means that the sixth string of the guitar, which is an E, and as you can see, I've got my tuner here showing that that's an E, that's dropped down a tone. So you wind down the E string, a full tone, until it becomes D. And you can see the tuner is now picking up the sixth string of the guitar as the note D. And then what you hear on the recording is, now you've got the same string as the fourth string. The sixth string is exactly the same notes, but one full octave lower. So if you play the riff exactly as you played it a moment ago, you'll hear the Fogarty sound there. Now, it's coupled with the use of tremolo on the low guitar. And if you have a look look at our video on Born on the Bayou, I spend quite a bit of time talking about the tremolo effect. So on the electric version that I'm going to play now, I'm using the Boss TR2 tremolo pedal. But when Fogarty originally played it, the custom amps and the Fender amplifiers that he was using at the time had that effect built into the amplifier. I hope you've enjoyed working your way through that all-time classic Credence riff to Heard It Through the Grapevine. And also learning about the drop D tuning, the tremolo effect, and Cosmos Factory, an absolute classic guitar-based album. If you haven't got it, get yourself a copy. We'll be working our way through a number of other great riffs from that album. As always, keep in touch via my website. That's www.brianhayes.biz, B-I-Z, Z for Zorro. Drop me an email if you've got any questions about playing the guitar. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the best way to keep updated with all of the new videos that I produce for the many instruments that I play and teach. Bye for now.